Now, we'll discuss in brief about modernism. Very short introduction, modernism. Do you have any idea what modernism is? Or what is modernism? What does it mean? We frequently mention this, sir, I am modern one. We live in the age of modern. Modernism that means the modern element and we are consisting modern elements. That, that means there can be the uh, individualism, individualism, uh, and selfishness, selfishness, stagnation, fragmentation. Then Or isolation. For those things you are happy. As you are, as you possess these things, that's why you are happy. It's a very kind of question. Okay. It's actually a moment, literary terms, what it is, you see that. Okay. First of all, you see the portrayal. This is the modern portrayal. Okay. The modern portrayal may not be matched with the earlier one. It's very gorgeous, colorful, but very ambiguous to us. Yes. We are obscured to us to understand what it indicates. So modernism refers to ambiguity, obscurity also. Okay? Modernism is a philosophical moment that along that, along with cultural trends and changes, arose from wide scale and for reaching transformation in Western society in the late 90th and early. 28 centuries. So when it is started, you have seen that for reaching transformation in Western society in the late 90th and the early 20th, 20th centuries. We can say that uh, in 1870s or 1880s it starts. Okay. The term is often applied to modernist movements at the turn of the 20th century, forced to reconcile the principles underlying architectural design with rapid technological advancement and modernization of society. So it is very close connected to the technical advancement and the architectural development. You have seen that in the medieval age or the ancient age, the people used architecture to build up their building as well. For example, Taj Mahal. Yes. It is one of the seven owners of the world still now. The architectural design of the Taj Mahal and the architectural development of this time are not the same. These are the completely different. Yes. So, this, on the basis of architectural and which one? The modernization of the society. Because of the technological advancement, people may have change their attitude, their feelings, their what reactions as well. So this is called the modernism. Modernism as a moment can be recognized not only in literature but also in where it changes, it affects where the science, philosophy, psychology, anthropology, painting, music, sculpture, and architecture. Architecture, not only in literature but also everywhere you will see it, the change. Okay? Yes. Then characteristic of modernism, the thematic characteristics are breakdown of social norms and cultural traditions. You have already mentioned the theme of isolation, fragmentations. This indicates because of the modernization. Then stream of consciousness. Frequently human beings change their minds. They have no stagnant thoughts. Fluctuate their minds state and it varies time, place and situation. Then what? This location of meaning and sense form its normal context. This location of meaning and sense form its normal context. Obvious? A word may have changed its meaning. A word may have changed its meaning. meaning. And you reply, your attitude, your reaction may vary on the basis of the context, on the requirements of the listeners. What does it mean that? The modern people are not freezing. They frequently change their 
mind whimsically and what their, their mind is called pickle mind it's a mind and next one polarization of the this is their individual in the face of ants unmanageable future. future next formal characteristics are what open form in literature yes. open form open form before the modern age in victorian age in romantic age in neoclassical age or the elizabethan age we see that poet used to follow a particular form to write their poems but in modern age not only poem but also the other branches of our general literature the writers change and they don't follow any specific form at all that's why it is called a word open form and most of the modern writings poems are called free verse okay next one free verse already we mentioned that and discontinuous narrative, narrative. discontinuous narrative just few minutes ago whenever you attended a workshop in that time the presenter mentions that to write yourself you have to follow you in your writing there must have coherent and coherence hmm? cohesive yes must be there but what we see that there is a discontinuation that means the information jumping from jumping from one there. state to another and state yes. as a result to get the ideas to get the meaning we have to use, we have to use lot of level yes. and sometimes we see the modern poems modern writings become what become ambiguous to us ambiguous to us okay and next one just a position why it is in the mask you are trying to forcefully use it just suppose insist your uh, and intertextuality what does it mean by intertextuality inside the text you are thinking thinking you are not interested to know your slab side or the history background that is a problem always you try to get the meaning whatever you see but behind it there must have information information then classical elevation frequently they use a classical evolution what does it mean by evolution evolution means a close references we have already mentioned that there are four types of evolutions classical evolutions they use ancient evolution even in westland you have seen that he has mentioned the, uh, the name of tiresias is a classical mythical evolution references then borrowing from different cultures and languages when you read a modern writing or the modern you see a modern uh, architecture or the sculpture yes. you see that it's a mingle of mixture of a lot of things they hire something else as a result we, now it is what we see that facebook points they have no ideas but they are cutting and pasting and what compilation with them and write a cutting after cutting with these words they are, i think that it's a Point. Next, un unconventional use of metaphors. Unconventional use of metaphors. And final one word, fragmentation. Right, already we have mentioned. Yes. So these are the characteristics of modernism. So from today we can easily tell that what modernism is, because we are unrest, physically, mental, in everywhere. We are fragmented. We are isolated. we always try to hire something else no, and connect it with my life yes. we try to insist something else just a force to different things forcefully you try to mix up use it together okay at the same time of what we try to give some take some hire some references from where classical age or different mix mix comes a mix language and as a result we see that stream of consciousness is one of them then frustration is there frustration is there mistrust is there selfishness is there because of the modern modern aspects modernism okay 
So features of modernism, the superiority of art to nature, the superiority of art to nature. In romantic age, you say that the romantic poets try to emphasize on nature more than arts. But the modern people, they try to emphasize on where? Art. art. To over nature. As well, when you arrange the function, what do you desire? What do you expect, sir? The room, the hall room will be gorgeous one. It's a well decorated. But to do it, you cannot fulfill the other requirements. If I cut the budget from the decoration, I can easily offer the foods to each and every one. More interesting, the modern students or the people want to sacrifice their food clubs. Rather, they want to see a gorgeous one. So this is one of the another features, okay? Then a more concept of the artist as hero. Artist as hero. Nowadays, who are the celebrity? A teacher may not. A, an intellectual one may not. An educated person may not. Who is an artist? Artist. Artist means not only the paint, painters. Artist that means who are acting. Acting. Yes. Who selling their voices or gesture, posture, their thoughts. So this is one of the topics or the features of modernism. And the autonomy of art and its divorce from truth and morality. We are divorcing. What? To then? Why you are doing? The cafe house. There is a, you see that the candles are lighting there. What? What happens? The people know it. It doesn't mean that. It indicates that unethically they are trying to earn money and they encourage to home. They promote the sexuality in the cafe house or somewhere else you know it very well. Yes. Okay. So it, it means in the it indicates that the modernism always sacrifices with the truth and morality. Then depersonalization and the objectivity of art, depersonalization. Already you have mentioned that individualism is the words. Individualism is one of the features of modernism. modernism. So depersonalize. Person is not the matter. What is the matter? Matter is the objectivity. Object. Non-human beings, you are giving the importance. Yes. If a man fall under the car, what's happened? You have no sympathy. But if you see that his car is broken down, so he becomes angry and all it, not for the dead man or the injured person. So this is the deep personalization. A logical, a logical structure. Obviously, we try to keep logic everywhere else. This is one of the nature of the modern people. Reasons we frequently say that this is one of the features that modern people try to ensure everything through the nature, logic. Yes. Verbal ambiguity and complexity everywhere is there. What I want to indicate, you may not understand, but my intention is to make the complex. The more complexity you can create, the more you can be appreciated. This is one of the nature of the modern people. The emphasize on the divided self and alienated self in the urban world. This is already urban, sorry, uh, isolation you have mentioned. So any question regarding modernism? I think you can understand what modernism is, okay? So thank you.